Yeah. I'm with Joel Siegel. He works for the USDA ARS. Uh, that's the Agricultural Research um, Center out of Parlier, California. And Joel, you came to the S Central Valley Almond Day meeting. You're discussing naval orange from control, and we had some comments on coverage in regards to uh, rig speed through the orchard. Yes, you see set the standard with Jack Dibble's research. What, he did, spent what, his entire career, at least 25 years, slower is better. Do not go more than two miles an hour. All sorts of terrible things happen in terms of your coverage. And what happens as you speed up, your ability to throw high will decrease. And you can't compensate by increasing your gallonage, and you can't compensate by increasing your PSI it's really key to go slower. Just going between two to about two and a half miles per hour reduced the volume or overall coverage by 30%. So how, how when you say the height of the throwing, when you go from two to 2.5, what's your decrease in your height coverage? By the time you're getting up to, when I looked at it and I did it with poles and spray cards, at two and a half miles per hour, you were essentially not getting any coverage up at 18 feet. Basically, when I did things last year, the 50% drop-off is at 12 feet. So if you compare 8-foot coverage to 12-foot, and this is with PTO rigs, you're already losing about 50%. I've just taken a look at engine-driven rigs this year, and you know, all things being equal, an engine-driven rig will probably give you coverage out to about 14 or 16 feet if you're using a single bank. But Paramount looked at that, and the way they were using their powered rigs with a single um, bank of nozzles, their coverage was failing at 14 feet by their, by their standards. That was Brad Higby's research. So how does this compare with coverage in regard to an aerofan type sprayer and an electro electrostatic type sprayer? Okay, what Brad looked at last year is he looked at all forms of sprayers, including the air blast in terms of the electrostatic, and all of them, just as Jack Dibble said, worked best at one and a half miles per hour. And since one and a half miles per hour, no one was really happy with, I think, Jack Dibble's compromise was the fastest he was comfortable with was two miles an hour. So even with the electrostatics, they work better slower.